Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. I'm not sure if any of you noticed, but none of your local TV stations are Channel 37. The truth is that Channel 37 was never used for TV, at least in North America. How come? If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Otherwise, YouTube may not notify you. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with over 40,000 inspiring and creative classes where you can take a class in art, photography, video editing, video production, and so much more. When signing up, Skillshare will suggest classes based on your interests, or you can search for a specific class, like piano lessons. You can easily navigate to different sections in each class if you are looking for specific information, like what you see here. I took the meal planning masterclass with Felix Harder and learned that certain fats are actually good for you. Skillshare is an excellent platform to learn useful skills without having to dig through YouTube or pay thousands of dollars for a college class. Start exploring your creativity today with Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to sign up through my link in the description will get a one month free trial. So how come Channel 37 was never used for television? It seems like a decent frequency considering the United States still uses the trash low VHF band for TV broadcasting even today. Channel 37 was never used for television because it's been reserved for something known as radio astronomy. What is radio astronomy? I'm not Bill Nye the science guy, unfortunately, so I had to look this one up. According to the National Radio Astronomy Observatory, radio astronomy is used to, quote, observe the naturally occurring radio waves that come from stars, planets, galaxies, clouds of dust, and molecules of gas. If you want more details about this, as I'm not the most familiar with this subject, I'm not Bill Nye the Science Guy, I include a link in the description of the video. For the most part, countries in North America, including the United States, Canada, Mexico, and Brazil, agreed not to license TV stations on Channel 37 so it can be used by scientists for outer space stuff. This doesn't mean that Channel 37 was never used for TV broadcasting anywhere. According to UHFhistory.com, a worldwide agreement took place in the 1970s to reserve Channel 37 for radio astronomy. Some countries that didn't sign the agreement ended up using Channel 37 for TV broadcasting. Some countries include the Philippines, Trinidad and Tobago, and the Dominican Republic. I include a link in the description to more information about Channel 37 on the History of UHF television website. There's a lot of great information on it, including the mess the FCC had to deal with when they actually approved licenses for Channel 37 back in the 1950s. Some of you may ask, if Channel 37 was never used for television in North America, how come most, if not all, TV sets have the option to select this channel? Apparently, it was easier just to keep Channel 37 the tuner function of a TV than to cut it off and make two separate tuner sets. Hopefully, you found this information about Channel 37 interesting. Depending on how this video performs, I may make another video that explains what happened to Channel 1 in the United States. Yes, there was a Channel 1 when televisions first came out. What happened to it? Thanks so much for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, jazz behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video and you can also click the thanks button. This is a new feature YouTube just released. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antennamanpa. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, 
Feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and time related videos and have an awesome day.